Earthworks video for Site Tech Inner Mountain, Earthworks training videos. Let's do a video on horizontal offsets, which is this icon right at the very top here with the line and the two arrows down the middle. There's a lot of different times that someone may need to offset a line. There's always a chance or an, a time that you need to know how far away you are from an existing edge, from an existing pipeline. You uh, may, in this instance, may be cutting top back a curb, and you may want to know exactly how far back behind a line you are so you can cut. And that's the example that we're going to go through today. So I've set the screen up here with split view so we can see a cross section of the blade. And then on this one right here, I'm going to hit this auto recenter and then zoom in just a little bit. For an example here, I am going to top, cut top back a curb and we're going to put a horizontal offset into it. There's two ways to do this. One is to simply touch and hold on the main screen. If you touch and hold on the main screen where there's a lot of different lines, you may get an option that comes up with multiple different lines that it's asking you to choose from. So if I touch and hold right here on the top back of curb, you can see I've got the change view option and then there's the choose line. If I go into choose line, that's not going to give me just the exact one I want. If you pick this one, it's kind of a guessing game of, do you want to use that one? No, I'm going to come out. Do I want to use that one? No, this one is the option to pick the lines manually this way. The other option is to go right into the horizontal offset. This I find to be the easiest. So if you touch and hold on this option and go into it, you can see that it brings up this screen that will allow you to pick whatever line on the screen just right off the bat. So if you simply touch the one that you want, which is this top back of curb right here, you can see the arrows are showing that it when the line was built in CAD, it's building it going that way. And that'll play into when we do a horizontal offset. So in this instance, if I want to do top back of curb, but I want to see an offset of, let's say, four feet or three feet, we can simply just touch right here and put in three feet. And you can see on the main screen that it starts to create an offset from that line. So, but it did the offset to the right of that line, assuming that that line is going the way the arrows are. Over here, there's this plus and minus option. If you touch that one, that one will allow you to click left and right of that line. So we'll go ahead and hit apply. And as you come out to the main screen now, if we zoom in, you'll see the same lines. The blue one is the one that is the top back of curb. The red is the horizontal offset line that we've set. And on the screen right here for the cross section, it also gives you the option and shows you the blue, which is the one you selected, and the red, which is our offset. At the very bottom ribbon, I have also set an offline option, which tells me how far away I am from the red line off of my red tip. So if I change over here my blade red tip, the carrot, from side to side, you'll see that that offline also is just telling me how far. So if you're cutting with that right side, make sure you have the red carrot on the correct side. The other thing you can do is turn the light bar on on the top to show you how far away you are. And how you do that is over here on the right side where the gear and the tablet is. If you go into here and go down just a little ways, there's light bars. If you hit light bars, you can see the middle right here, center, offline, left and right. So let's click that on. You can see what it does there. You can hit done. And now we also have a light bar telling us when we're going to get there. So if I take the dozer and slowly start moving forward and to the right, you can see the closer and closer I get to that line that I want. And I'll turn the autos on also. I can now follow that line right here. As soon as I'm on it, my light bars tell me when I'm there. And I also have an offline if I go just to the right a little bit or to the left a little bit. So this is an easy way to actually use horizontal offsets to gain control of how far exactly to go left and right. Uh, dozers are also coming out with lane steer on some of the newer versions that will allow you to do that also. The other thing I wanted to show you is if you had multiple different offset needs from that exact line right there, 
you can go into that same option for horizontal offsets at the top here, touch and hold, and there's this little black box right here. It's kind of not very noticeable sometimes, but this one will allow you to do horizontal offset memories. So right now we've got a three foot and the zero. We could create another one if we needed to from that same line. You could name it if you want to, you don't have to, but you could call it the five foot offset if we wanted to add that. And you could put in the five right there. And then remember the plus or minus for whatever side we needed it to go. I believe we needed to go to the right side of that line, as you can see right there. We'll go ahead and hit save. And now I've got another one in here that I can hit done. And what this does, oh, it was the other way. So we'll go back in and edit that one. And that's the beauty of this is if it was done wrong, there's these three buttons right here. If you touch that, you can edit that one and switch it to the opposite side. Hit save again, hit done. And now you can see we've got that option to the right. So now we have another one that would be two more feet from what we were. We'll create that three foot offset back in there. We'll call this the uh, three foot offset. We'll add that in so that we're creating these and we'll make it a minus. So it's to the left of that line and we'll hit save. So now we've got those in here. So we hit done and apply. And now we can toggle between five foot, zero, and three foot off of that line. So if we had the five foot going and you go back to the dozer, move that dozer over, you can see exactly when you get to that point right there. If you want to deselect these, you do need to go back into the horizontal offset option right there. So if you touch and hold and go in there, you can see where it says select line. Even if we left this, let me go back out and left this at zero, you can see that I still have a line selected, even though there's no offset in it. So you do need to go and touch and hold and go in there and hit this and select none selected. Then you can hit apply and you're back out to the main screen. So that is a quick training tutorial video from Sight Taken or Mountain for horizontal offsets.